Andreas. Finally. It is so very soon. Three, two, one. Ah, Vaughn. I've been thinking about your offer. But I have a few questions first. Such as? Where is she? Where is my mother? The accident at Paradigm flung your mother into a far distant future. She's in another timeline, another reality. The time-space equivalent of being stranded on a remote desert island. So how do we get there? The ball, my boy. The ball. A power source of limitless conserved momentum captured in a point in space small enough to grasp. Now, you and your friends have traveled into the past through the wormhole your father unfortunately opened with it. No one has traveled into the future. That requires a technology that has yet to be perfected. You mean my father's device? The morning hasn't finished yet. In his hands, it will only cause more pain and destruction. But in our hands, we can use it, Vaughn, to safely travel into the future and find your mother. Okay. I'll get the ball for you on one condition. We find Josie, too. Josie Trent? If not, there's no deal. Agreed. Hey. How's that speech coming along? <laughs> Ask me after I'm done writing it. So how'd it go with Avenir? He told me he knows where my mother is. Are you serious? And he also said that he could help me find her and bring her back home. If I do something for him in return. He wants the Qigong ball. And he wants me to get it for him. Vaughn, you're not seriously considering this, are you? What if I were? The ball is your father's power source. Of course Avenir wants it for himself. But Corinne, what if he's telling the truth? I've been waiting my entire life for this opportunity, and now I finally have it. The only way I can save my mother is if I betray my father. Okay, Vaughn, you really need to consider this. The one thing you want in this whole world is to find your mom. And now he's promising to fulfill your dream. Doesn't that strike you as a bit convenient? I know. But it's the only chance I've got. everywhere for you. Lucas, did you or did you not enter this office despite my explicit instructions that it be strictly off limits? Yeah, I did, but I can explain it. No, Lucas, no, no, no. I really don't think you can. Josie, not quite. We've met before. I'm Josie's clone, remember? Of course. But, well, well, maybe you should sit down. There's a lot to explain. Dad? Place her here. But there's information on that device that I can't get to without the pendant. Yes, while you and the other Josie may be genetically identical, you don't share the same life experiences. So that means the real Josie might know something about another pendant. Or has some knowledge of the device which allows her to manipulate it in a way that you cannot. Okay, so we need the real Josie. Do you know where she is? This may be a difficult concept for you to grasp, but she's in an alternate timeline, an alternate universe, if you will. Yes. Of course. You see, since Josie has disappeared, I have been trying to construct a logical framework for a universe in which time travel 
is possible. I began by speculating about black holes and wormholes. Now, a black hole is an object so massive that it is able to swallow anything that comes close to it, even light. The intriguing feature of a wormhole is that there's a way out the other side to whatever region of time or space the wormhole is connected to. Now, obviously, if the wormhole is connected to a time space from the past, and the wormhole would become our time machine. Now, my theory further speculates that when someone travels to the past, they create a separate reality, a second version of themselves, yeah, living in a parallel world. Now, according to this model, the universe could, in fact, be split into an infinite number of copies of itself, in which every possible outcome of every decision ever made exists somewhere in an infinitely layered multiverse. Good theory. So basically you're saying every time we traveled through the wormhole, we created a separate universe. That's one way of putting it, yes, Lucas. And Josie's trapped in one of them. Trapped? What do you mean? I mean, <laughs> if you know where she is, why don't you just go get her and bring her back? Because she can't. Josie is the sole inhabitant of the universe she created. And she can't be removed without creating a paradox and causing, potentially, catastrophic damage to the space-time continuum. That's why we couldn't find Josie. Each time someone has gone back and changed the past, we have been in the same timeline, so we've been able to see the results of that disruption in the present. But this time, it seems Josie has left the timeline altogether. Wait, so is there any way to get Josie back without creating a paradox? I don't see how that would be possible. However, even though you and the other Josie don't share the necessary life experience for you to replace her here. I could replace her there. This would work. Wait, you're not saying that... I could travel to the timeline where Josie is. Because I'm her genetic duplicate, I may be able to take her place there and send Josie back here. But that means you'll be... Trapped. Just like she is. Actually, I was uh, coming to ask whether or not you were going to my graduation. And I saw this. Don't tell me. You want to know what it is? I think you already know. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You and your friends found a device like this over a year and a half ago. That's why you wanted the pendant your mother left for you. You know it's true, so don't bother lying. You have the nerve to talk to me about lying? After all the stuff you kept hidden from me my entire life. Vaughn, I had my reasons. Such as? A promise I made to your mother a long time ago. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're telling me mom told you to lie to me? No. Protect you. I don't believe you. You know what? This was a mistake coming here, Dad. Do you know what this device does? Do you? Vaughn, I know that my actions, although well-intended, have caused you pain, and I am truly sorry about that. But I had hoped we could get past it. That we could make a fresh start. That you could forgive me. No, Dad. I can't.
realize what you're doing? I do. You'll have to remain in that timeline. There's no going back. Thank you for your help. I wish there was some other way. Good luck. But there has to be some other way. I mean, something we haven't thought of. I mean, you don't have to do this. I do. Josie Trent has her destiny to fulfill. And so do I. <laughs>